of he asking why we use the slogan reset. Indeed, I won't go too far to use another example. I'll use his own example. Indeed, Ghana is not a phone to be upgraded or updated. If you want to upgrade things, then are you telling the Ghanaian people that a haircut you've given to pensioner bondholders and independent bondholders will be upgraded so that you journalists and all other persons could also get a haircut under your administration? Is that what you are saying? Are you telling unpaid contractors that you are now going to upgrade their pain and cry and suffering to the extent that even the small, 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 some of them, a few of them get, they will no longer get it. And many more contractors will be added onto the unpaid corridor. Is that what an upgrade means? So what President Mahama is saying is simply that even the free SHS we talked about, the three shift system, and so many other unfortunate incidents, I mean, that are being tagged onto the free SHS, like very basic lack of nutritious foods being given to the students, will be reset. And the three shift system will be cancelled. They will be given highly nutritious foods, and our educational system could be back on track, still at a free rate. That is what the reset means. And so I just wanted to put that across. Now, I don't know why Mr. Kufuado wants to, at all costs, look for classmates of corruption, of which he and Alaj Baumia are already members of. No matter how hard you try, you cannot get classmates in corruption. I am happy that one of the people he cleared, of which he finally attained the highest title of being not just the mother serpent of corruption, but a clearing agent, have finally vindicated the stance of the NDC. I sat on TV and I said, Pius Enam Hajide took over 200 people to Austria. When they got there, they turned out, it turned out that they were fake people branded as journalists. The Australian authorities deported all of them. And his own minister, Pius Enam Hajide's minister, said he wasn't in charge of visa issuing. It was Pius who brought the people and it was Pius who led them to Austria. He brought gross international embarrassment to the people of this country. When I said it, he was jumping all around, swearing all oracles that he wasn't the one. God being so good. And you see, there's a special way the God of 2024 usually exposes criminals. God made he himself declare himself guilty. He stood there and said, just like I took people to Austria, I will take you to US. And I, this is what we call intended fraud. And if we don't stop it now, if it finally happens, no security person should blame anybody. He said we from here to America. It's seven hours. Don't you? You are an aspect of going in going to America. Which plane? Huh. Maybe the Air Force One. When did I it's what takes people <laughs> at a seven hour duration from Ghana to America. The best time you can go to America is ten hours. Yet Pius, because he has intentions of duping his own constituents, collecting monies and not taking them to America. He said they only need seven hours to get to America, which is a bare faced lie. Number two. You don't even know your fate as to whether your black stars that today we don't even know how they are playing will finally go to the World Cup or not. Yet, you are already intending to take money from your constituents and take them to Austria. As for Pius's matter, from this platform, we will have a press conference at Oslo German and we now have documents that prove the amounts of money he took from those 200 people he took to Austria. Until now, many of those 200 people but are not Pius getting a refund of Australia their money. Pius was in Australia when the games were ongoing. But when he, before... He issued the visas to them. His minister said he was in charge of that. But how can Pius issue visas? He, I mean, what I mean is that he selected the people, he de began the processes for them, he took the details, and then he took the details to the embassy for them to be issued visas. They got there and realized that Pius had given their names to them in pretense that the persons that were going to Austria were journalists. Only for it to turn out that they were lay people he just took money from and took them there. Don't worry. But you, have, 12... but, 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 but you all you heard and the mm -hmm. president speak that the CID report mm -hmm. or investigation mm -hmm. didn't find any wrongdoing on Pius's part. Have you seen the CID report? I haven't, but the president said the, it. When the mother serpent of corruption, of which his own special prosecutor office labeled him, tells you something, you need to think twice before you accept it. Now, we're in this country, and I've decided to flag Pius's matter because at 12 o'clock, there'll be breaking news, and GH1 will be first to get it, of who the character Pius is. President Akufuadu was the man who finally renegotiated the American innovation scandal. He ballooned the price from 5-10 million 
to 1.3 billion. President Kufado, together with Baumia. When he was so exposed, when he was caught, say what? He told you and I that he was misled. Till date, Mr. Kufado has not told us who misled him. Mr. Kufado has not also commenced investigations into that particular act simply because he himself, together with Baumia, are guilty for that crime. That one shouldn't we call him a killer agent. Number three, Cecilia Dapai's matter was still under investigation when President Akufado wrote a love letter. In fact, at the tail end of the letter, he said, My dear Cecilia Dapa, I know you will be vindicated. Many love, I mean, best of luck ahead in your days. So many sweet words. When this woman was under high investigation, today we've seen what the matter has become. A woman who could stuff dollars. A woman who was giving $43 million to Dredge the Odor Lagoon refused to dredge it. When she got to parliament, she couldn't even account for the money. Yet we found dollars under her bed. Today, as a result of the clearing agent, we don't even know to the extent to which that particular matter was going. How, how, did, how did the Kufado clear Cecilia Dapa? The letter he wrote, did you read it? That is a clear, it's him saying that Cecilia Dapa is cleared of any wrongdoing. Do, do you know how they sympathize with criminals? You sympathize with a criminal by showing affection. To the acts of that person that was clearly enshrined in president Akufo for those letters were pds when they balloon the contract and in fact that one alaji baumia is 100 percent guilty and i've said that no matter how long it takes baumia will be stripped naked in that particular crime baumia's pds they changed the condition precedent to a condition subsequent they presented fake carl bank documents to government of ghana they got the contract in fact their own minister, Peter Mew, said the documents Baumia and his cronies presented <coughs> were fraudulent. Till date, say what? not a single investigation has been done in that particular matter. Charles Edubwahim, a minister of state, who said before you meet Baumia to discuss Galamse issues, you have to put $250,000. This is not an ordinary man. He is a man, President Akufuado appointed minister of finance at the office of the president. After he said this, Investigations were done at the Special Prosecutor's Office. In the concluding part of the report, the Special Prosecutor said, Baumier's crime is so big that it is bigger than the office they appointed him to. And by so doing, it was stated in let the me report. tell you the cross. He said, we need to pass the Corrupt Practices Act before you <laughs> finally <laughs> investigate <laughs> Baumier's crime. But this was the what was his crime? Baumier? His crime was that his own minister said he had been leading people to pay $250,000 before you discuss concession issues with Baumia. That was what Charles Edubwain said. And the tape is available. The special prosecutor said the issue is beyond his office. And so Nanado should quickly, I have the report, I can read it to you. He said Nanado should quickly pass the Corrupt Practices Act in order that they are able to expose <coughs> Baumia in full time. That is not Today, what the report said. What did the report say? It, it, the, the report didn't say what you just said. So the report didn't say they should pass the, the Corrupt Practices Act. The report Practice said Act. that, but you said that um, to, in <laughs> order to investigate Dr. Baumia. That's not what the report you know, said. The special prosecutor said he, the investigations on the vice president haven't closed until what they pass the Corrupt Practices Act to enable them fully go into the merits of the matter. That particular matter remains pending. So now, Mr. Kufado hasn't passed that Corrupt Practices Act. When the NDC comes, we will do it and we'll strip him naked. 10,000 bags of solar rice. This is what they hate hearing. A businessman imported 10,000 bags of lily rice. You are, you are adding Dr. Baumier's own to the clearing agent. Yes, and as to how... What did the president do in this one? I will tell you. Him? Relax. I'm taking this step by step. When I end, I'll tell you how he cleared it. 10,000 bags. But you moved on. You are, a in, a different, you are, in, a, you are yes. in a different issue. I will come. I will name it to you. Don't worry. So finish with bucks. one before you move that to the brought. next one. So which one are you asking now? I'm asking you about the <laughs> Charles Edu Boahins, matter. you know, matter. Yes. How, how is the president a caring agent in that matter? The what special do you prosecutor do? advised the president to quickly initiate the implementation and, I mean, the position of the passage of the special Corrupt Practices Act. The president has been negligent in that. If indeed he wanted to investigate this particular matter, he would have quickly passed that act. Why? Haven't we seen bills? that have been rushed to parliament, brought back, and the president appended his signature on. Why is it that the president is not interested in this particular matter? So that should tell you that he is not interested in investigating the corrupt practices of his own vice president. 10,000 bags of salary rice. A businessman brought 10,000 bags of lily rice. It was sitting at the port. Baumia, through his own administrator, Kekose, decided to write a letter on the letterhead of Baumia, seeking that the rice be brought and shared as salary rice. When Kekose was caught, and the matter taken to the special prosecutor's office. Baumia said he wasn't the one sharing salary rights. It was his administrator. That letter came from Baumia's office. So what? Uh, 
uh, till now, Kek Osei is still the administrator in Baumier's office. Yet, President Kufuado and all the highest authorities have decided to play negligent in that particular matter. Of all the corrupt scandals in this country, we've had Galamse fraud, we've had Abobo Yas flying into the sky, we've had high-ranking officials of this particular government engaging in different levels of corruption. President Akufuado still has the tenacity to mount a podium and say my government is free of all these corrupt practices. You see, I wouldn't blame Mr. Akufuado so much because he himself mm -hmm. has many questions to answer in respect of the corrupt things they have done at the presidency. And that is why I wasn't surprised when Martin Amidu, who knows Mr. Akufuado so well, decided to say that of all corrupt snakes, Mr. Akufuado is their mother. Okay, because Mr. I have Kufuado the report. It's one man good. Um, Malik, I yes. have the, the special prosecutor's Fantastic. report. Fantastic. And at no point yes. is the vice president mentioned in that report so, at the concluding part. Hold okay, on. Okay, so read the concluding so, part. Though the conduct of Mr. Edu mm -hmm. amounts to trading in influence or influence peddling, Fantastic. which is closely associated with corruption, Fantastic. there is no actual criminal prohibition mm -hmm. of his act mm -hmm. in respect of which the OSP mm -hmm has a mandate to further act. Fantastic. On, hold on. Go on. On that reckoning, <laughs> uh -huh. the special prosecutor directs the closure at this time of the investigation mm -hmm. in respect of allegations of corruption mm -hmm. and corruption-related offenses mm -hmm. involving Charles Edu Boahing. Continue. You continue. Contained in the investigative documentary okay. titled Galamse Economy, published Fantastic. by the Tiger IPI. Fantastic. The investigation may be reopened Fantastic. should the circumstances and further facts Fantastic. so dictate. Fantastic. It goes on commendation yes. <laughs> I like that. that the OSP uh -huh. commends the president for the referral to the OSP Good. for the conduct of investigation <laughs> into suspected corruption mm -hmm. and corruption-related offenses mm -hmm. involving Mr. Edu Boahe. Okay. Where does it state so, that the okay. or, or Dr. Baumier's crime is so huge hold that on, hold on. they have hold to be, on, they don't have on, the law to, to... Fantastic. Hold on. Who was this? What was this investigation about? It was about Charles Edu Boahe and who? It was about Charles Edu Boahe. I, I don't think that there was the investigation. The, the, the investigation. What commenced, they, so let me remind you, what commenced this investigation was Charles Edouard saying that he knows Baumia so well. Hold on, that before you meet Baumia to discuss Galamse issues, you have to bring two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. True or false? Uh huh. We are mute. And oh, as I, a, I don't have you, to answer you, that. You, you answer that. So after that was said by Charles Edouard. The special prosecutor commenced investigation into acts of what Charles Edouard said against the vice president. And in determining whether it was true or false, the special prosecutor says we need to pass a corrupt practices act. And this particular matter may be reopened. Did you read that? The corrupt practices yes. act is in reference to Charles Edouard. And the, the vice president. The special prosecutor said it doesn't no. mention the vice president. Look, Malik, whatever, the whatever Charles Edouard said, that made him stand in investigation. It's about the vice president, true or false. Charles Edouard spoke about his relationship with the vice president and said, in order to do Galamse, in order to go on site and work. And you see, my surprise in this particular matter, especially when I heard Charles Edouard talking, was how ba ba Baumia is so abreast with issues of Galamse. Because in, our, in the northern part of the country, we have very few Galamse sites. So how did Baumia learn Galamse on the job? That is, has been my worry in this particular matter. So with what you are saying, it's not even a major worry to me. My major worry is how Baumia learns Galamse to the extent that he and Charles Edouard, according to Charles Edouard, need to sit down, take $250,000 from people before Baumia gives you concessions. I am saying that when the NDC comes, will pass the Corrupt Practices Act, would put Baumia and Charles Edouard, who are very good friends in the witness box, and we'll see how that particular matter will end. So uh, let me quickly talk about Matthias, Alistair Matthias, who was a gold mafia. And this one again, is on the neck of Mr. Kufadu and Baumia, a gold mafia who said his best friend was Mr. Kufadu, and they had been laundering money like granites. And even gold that Mr. Kufado gave him, he's been traveling around the world with it. When Al Jazeera exposed him, Mr. Kufado wrote a letter to Al Jazeera. I said, why do you remember? Asking Al Jazeera. You know, I, I, I either... still on that report, yeah, yes, I'm, right? I'm coming. I... Hold on. Yes. I want us to conclude, okay, so conclude, conclude. The, the, the matter. Yeah, fantastic. Because the OSP report yes. on that mm -hmm. same issue, uh, let me quickly Good. read it. The, the OSP said that... 
the Mr. Dubwahing mm -hmm. exhibited lack of sound judgment. Good. His claim that he accepted the cash gift to avoid offending the supposed sheikh mm -hmm. lies very thinly. And Good. his suggestion that the payments of an appearance fee of $250,000 mm -hmm. to the vice president was reckless, especially mm -hmm. as the vice president Good. was unaware. You've heard the vice president. Hold on. You said you didn't hear about me. Especially Have you heard as, it now? Hold on. Okay. But listen to what I'm saying. Good, go on. Especially <laughs> as the vice president was unaware Good. Good. of the business he was conducting mm -hmm. and had not tasked him mm -hmm. to demand money of whatever description on his behalf. When, when Atai first appeared in court, he denied all the theft cases. This is not Dr. Balmia that's saying this. I am saying that when this man was speaking in camera without knowing that he was being <laughs> recorded, he said emphatically that he had been taking people to Baumia and giving them $250,000. When the investigation, when he finally realized... I don't think I heard him say that he has been taking the video. People. Now, let me, let me even read this act. I, I was coming to read the act you just read, where Baumia's name was mentioned. You said there was nowhere in the report the vice president was mentioned. I didn't say that. So, now, hold on. Read 7.3. I didn't say that. Read 7.3. Hold on. Hold on. She said in the conclusion. Which act? The non... 7.3. This is the report. This same report. Okay, you mean the report. Open it. Go to... It's, uh, uh, go to uh, paragraph 7.3. <laughs> Open go the report. Ahead. The non prohibition of most predicate acts of corruption and corruption related offenses mm -hmm. and dangerous impunity of malevolent conduct and the erosion of democratic tenets, which spawn formidable hurdles in the fight against corruption, especially the public sector. On this call, and this mm -hmm. was about the report of mm -hmm. the vice president and Chancellor Dubai, the OSP calls for the immediate passage of the Corrupt Practices Act to comprehensively codify the prohibition of all forms of corruption. The OSP joins up the positive, per persistent cause of the pressure groups occupied by Ghana so 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 before. When the vice president mentioned here, I have just explained to you that the, the OSP entire report. Hold on, the entire report was the, about how they do. Business. And the vice president. No. Oh. I, you, oh, oh, but listen, oh, oh, the, 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 the part where you oh, talk God. about the uh -huh. passage or the OSP calling on uh -huh. the president to pass Good. that act, yes. the OSP specifically mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. that the conduct of Mr. Edu mm -hmm. amounts to trading in influence peddling. Mm -hmm. And on that score, the OSP does not have the mandate mm -hmm. to investigate him on that. Mm -hmm. And so his recommendation is that... So influence the, peddling against who? Influence peddling against who? Because we peddle influence on someone. So who did we peddle influence on? Just answer that. I want but to the vice president, was the vice president was not the subject who? of investigation. So was he? So the influence peddling. Hold on. In influence peddling, before I'm tagged or investigated for influence peddling, I should have used someone's name, true or false. So whose name did Chasidu Bwain use? It was even stated in the earlier paragraph you quoted that Chasidu Bwain said all what he was doing. Indeed, he mentioned the vice president's name. But the vice president knew nothing about it. Was not what he said there? So indeed, this entire investigation was about influence peddled using the vice president's name. The, 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 the determination as to whether it was true or false cannot be determined until a corrupt practices act is passed. And by so doing, would go into full investigation of Baumia again and Charles Dubois, and then we would ascertain as to whether it was true or false. That hasn't been determined yet. Did you see? Did you did you read that statement from the vice president? Of what? When this matter came up, are you taking the vice president's word? I'm saying that when I, I'm just asking, so did when you read it? Of course, okay. the vice president dissuaded himself from it, and I'm telling you that even when Atai went to court, he said he wasn't guilty. We've caught people killing people. They went to court and said they weren't guilty. Do you expect Baumia, after all the taking two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, to come and tell you that yes, Sewa, you see, you've been smiling to me. I want to tell you the truth. The truth is that I took two hundred fifty thousand dollars. He will never do that. Until he stripped naked. And John Mahama is saying that through his oral policy, will strip him naked, whether they like it or not. And many of them will go to jail. Now, on the matter of the uh, Alistair Matthias, I had already stated that. The president threatened Al Jazeera. You read the letter. The brand, Al Jazeera should retract, although sealed them. True Koesuma, till date, Mr. Akufado has not had the courage and balls to take Al Jazeera to any court. And that's simply because he's indicted in this particular matter. When Yantechi came and said, when you give Mr. Akufado 3 million, 
you will just catch him and put him in your pocket. When you give Baumia two million, he will shake the head. Uh, all the contracts in this country will be for you. Nyantechi again used their names. How did Nyantechi know even the chair Mr. Kufado was sitting on in his hotel? He said, when you enter the hotel, look left. Mr. Kufado sits there. Anytime he's ready to take three million, that is where he sits. Till date, Sewa, tell me what came out of the Nyantechi matter. Nothing, not nothing. That one's with Kufado cleared. Here. That one too, nothing came the out case of is it. In court. And so, 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 so how is that? How, for, how is a Kufado for, for a many, agent for, for that? For how many years now? But a Kufado is not a judge. He Mr. Is not, Kufado he's not... mounted the podium immediately after that incident to say that nothing was true in that particular matter. And that is why till now no report has been got. Anybody who has engaged in corruption under his administration, Mr. Kufado is first to mount the podium. Health minister. When the health minister ballooned the contract. COVID-19 drugs from $9 to $19. His what friend, Sheikh Al Maktoum, a Dubai Sheikh who is known to be a rascal in the entire world. They partnered and ballooned the price, bought COVID-19 drugs. The minister himself sat in parliament and said we should forgive him his sense. He wasn't thinking right. He was under pressure. He will never repeat that corrupt act again. So uh, does corruption have forgive me? I'll never repeat it again. He admitted guilt. Mr. Kufado went to his hometown. You remember Doma? Huh? Stood there. When investigations were going on, he said, Munja Health Minister, Health Minister, bread or eh? Leave him in peace. The man has, yes, taken our money away, but leave him. And you said this man is not a clearing agent. Look, I don't want to bring incidents of where Mr. Kufado was even seen taking brown envelope with two hands and salivating. Because all those matters will still be investigated. But the point we are making in this one is that, look, corruption has been the canker of this particular country. And so uh, we cannot continue on that tangent. There are villages that need schools villages that need hospitals and as a government if you decide to misappropriate the funds just yesterday shamelessly our baba yara sports stadium cannot even be used to play games they have ruled us out yet mr akufuado and co have sat down and they have sunk one billion plus dollars in the national cathedral go and look at it it is a it is a left abandoned hole yet high-rise judges buildings were collapsed in that particular matter. Companies, the passport office, together with other many offices, were collapsed and grounded. Right. One billion dollars wasted in it. Yet our stadiums are not even fit for purpose. Roads are being damaged everywhere. Lives are derailing, and there's high inflation in this country. All okay. because this government has decided, together with the appointees, to siphon funds that belong to people. And because they have the mother serpent of corruption as president, together with his deputy Alaji Baumia, they've decided to turn a blind eye to it. So uh, we must one day nail down. And plead on Mr. Kufado. The corruption is too much under his government. I know that the people have taken a decision to vote out this inept government. I haven't even spoken about family and friends. Tonto is sitting here, highly qualified to be ambassador at large. Yet Mr. Kufado has given his own secretary, again, another appointment as ambassador at large. Two appointments to one person. Since when did we start sharing the national cake in a family house? Since when? If you gave that position to somebody too, at least it will roll out to somebody, your family member alone. And you see, the reason why family and friends breeds corruption is that when Baumia gave his sister Larba, the end, made the NDA boss, Abobo Yaz got missing. No investigation was done in that matter because that is his sister. He cannot investigate her. John Kroma, the president's daughter, he appointed her to the Creative Art Industry Board for the first time where a president decides to share a national cake in his family house. When the moving pina matter came, where they siphoned fuel in this country, no investigation was done. Baumia's brother, Abraham Baumia, they have balloon contracts and given to him. The Sunyani airport was ballooned and given to him. Inflated cost, no public procurement authority laws in that. It was sole sourced. I mean, just breached every law in this country. Because it is Baumia's brother, nobody can touch it. And that is how they are siphoning funds with their family members and all of that. And when we talk right. about it, Mr. Gufado thinks that he must look for somebody to come and become his classmate. And when I heard him speak about government official one, I said, oh my God. So this matter that has been brought to conclusion, you are going back to hit it. Again. All right. Thank you.